and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Shining Force Final Conflict. I'm your host, the RPG guy. All right, so we, we geared up. We're ready to move on. We had a little discussion about Julia and the other centaur we just picked up, which we'll see how that plays out for us later. Makes we must report to you that this man has broken army regulations. Now, if I remember correctly, you're Eric. That is your name, isn't it? I understand you used to be a spy. I didn't do anything of the sort. Ah, uh, Magus, you always did enjoy blaming the innocent. Oh, it's you again. You do me an injustice. Oh, you do me an injustice, thanks. This time I have proof. Really? Then why don't you show me this proof? What has Eric done and what could he Eric hope to achieve? All I wanted is to see my Sheila. If I enter the Devil Army one of these days, I'll meet up with her. So that's the reason for my actions. Well, what? Well, well. You too. Get him and take him for execution. Wait, isn't this interesting? Lynx, what do you plan to do? You caught him by using dirty traps. I cannot accept that. <coughs> Eric is released from his chains. Fight me, Eric. If you cannot defeat me, you do not have a chance against Mistress Mishila. I'm ready any time. Come on. Everyone else, step back and don't interfere. There's <laughs> uh. <laughs> all chance, everyone after Eric. You... You can't do that. I'm leaving this place now. <laughs> If they're aim. It's a shame we have to kill a man like him. I wanted to defeat that man in a fair battle. My apologies for causing you this trouble, Magus. Remember this, you should always fight fair and square. Mm. <coughs> Lynx is so selfish. One of these days I'll get even with him. First, I must find Eric, otherwise I'll be in big trouble. Volcanon said that we should head north. <coughs> we carry on this way and don't go astray. We should reach the town of Mound. We'll have to go via Mound to get to the far north, where he said we'll find a real treat in a place called Nazca. <coughs> it's about time our scout Julia reported back to us. Those guys seem to be wandering around quite strangely, don't they? It seems that Magus is the commanding officer of the Devil's, Devil Army's forces here, and they're quite frantic right now to find a guy called Eric. Eric, interesting. Who is that, I wonder? Any sign of Eric? No, he doesn't seem to be here. I don't know. He must be further away. We've got to search well. Hey, it's you guys again. Curses, it seems like we'll have to fight them again. Mm, did those guys make it this far to the north? Put off the search for Eric. We must attack Ian and his force. All right, bring it. Bring it, chump. So, yeah, let's keep moving. So let's take a look here at what we've got. We've got some new bats. Um, and we've got some new goblins. Pop goblins. And I believe these would be dark snipers. And that's probably it. Yeah, that's a bit that's it when it comes to new new enemy types. Um, as far as the drops, I believe they're all healing items of some sort, whether they're antidotes or healing seeds. So there's not really any major chest to go, you know, sprinting towards. 
Uh, which is good, which is good news in my opinion. Okay. So we'll let these orc lords kind of make their way towards us. The biggest threats are going to be the the smoke and the dark mages, as per usual. Everything else, they'll hit pretty hard, but we should be mostly fine. The dark knights will hit mo moderately hard, and then you know the uh, the hot the the high orcs or whatever they're called. What are they called? The orc lords. They're not going to be as interesting, strangely enough. Or as big of a deal. Sylvia gains XP. But we do want to keep Sylvia's level up. As far as Julia goes, though, she's going to eventually come out pretty... Not super soon, but she is going to come out at some point. And... So I'm not that interested in leveling her, but we'll level them as needed for now until we know for sure what the levels are, you know, long term. And need levels to town. But again, being an outdoor battle with a lot of wonky terrain, I'm not that eager to mess around in it, per se, so... This battle we will fight our way through rather quickly, and then the next two battles are going to be mainly grinding battles, um, because there's just if we're going to get another. I believe. Well, you probably figured we're probably going to get another character, and that character I believe comes promoted. So, you know, and he's not a bad character. He's definitely an upgrade to Julia, um, in in his own way. Um, that's a fresh one, yeah. We'll leave that for for Sylvia and Mead and all of them. How are we doing? So that's about to reach us. Let's put him in the tall grass here. That way his he gets a defense bonus for being in said tall grass. And Mead, Mead takes is taking hits pretty well right now. That orc lord's on his way. We can let Julia work on that. Kiddo can help if need be. Nice. That's really gonna help. Yeah, we'll have Kiddo. Kiddo might get the kill, but that's okay. Yeah. And there's an antidote picked up. Not that I care, but eh, it is what it is. You know what? Somebody's gotta kill this thing. Sonnet is pretty strong, so let's have her move ahead. Cause that'll gauge what we're XP we're getting. So that's 46 on a level 11 character. That's good XP. So we know that the new enemies are definitely stepping up XP growth. Never, it hasn't been good for a while, so. And Hal's already level 11, so we're not looking to level him that much. I 
I need to use their items. It's the same amount of XP, so there's no reason to not use the items. Keep forgetting. Fucking idiot! Bad priesty. That's okay, we'll just gang up on the smoke and I won't get a chance to heal either way. Um, Ian can come around here. There we go. Unfortunately, that's gonna happen. Again, we take damage rather well, so that's the, the melee attacks are the least of my concerns. It's gonna be the magic attacks in Shining Force Final Conflict that are gonna really make or break how well we do to a degree. Sylvia hits 10. Yay. So you can see she's still behind Eric, um, Eric Mead a little bit um, in her stats. But like I said, she's going to be more like May. And there, there are people who love May. There are people who hate May versus some of the versus some of the other knights in Shining Force 1. So if you're going to make that, it's, it's again, it's a mild comparison. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a dis definitive comparison. It's a mild comparison at best. But there is, there is something to it where, depending on your play style, you'll prefer one knight over the other. And there's just no way really around that. It's just, you're just gonna, you're gonna judge them that way. And whichever knight, when we get to the point where we need to take out one of our two knights, because there is a better option, when we take out, when we get to the point where we take out one of the two knights, we'll have to come to a decision. Um, we'll look at stats, too. I mean, I'm, I'm not just gonna... Usually, me does a little better for me. Um, but if, if Julia... Or not Julia, if Sylvia pulls ahead, then that's, you know, that's a different story, right? Rubrin gets the kill. I'm gonna use them too. The only 10 HP. That's not very much, which is why I'm gotta. I gotta use them. And one hit. One hit to kill, and he's gonna heal himself, of course. I did it. But yeah, we're going to start moving all of the characters' healing herbs onto our healers. So in turn, we can start getting healing seeds on, on, our, on our characters as needed. I'm not going to let Kiddo get the kill there. We'll let Julia do it. Her turn's coming up. You'll notice I'm using the terrain to my benefit here. As much as I can. Of course, Hal's fallen asleep, and now I can't reach that priest. Uh. Oh, Julia, you're killing me here. It's a kill. The bat's a bigger threat right now. her name are pretty high level right now. I'm almost just at that point where I just want to get rid of the healing um, antidote, rather. Nice. 
Nice, that we could get her the, up a level. So we can, we need to start breaking the party up because of that. That's incoming. Luckily, he's just going to use a physical attack. And yes, Ian is now luring enemies to me, which I am quite alright with. Put kiddo around the side. Nice hit, kiddo. Now, if only Julia can emulate that, that would be great. Hopefully she will get the kill on the Dark Mage. Didn't level, though. <laughs> Julia and Kiddo, for the time being, will make a good team, so I'm not too worried about them leveling. Like I said, Julia is not on the zenith of my roster here. At least, rather, she's not the most important character to me right now. But like I said, we'll level, level her alongside Kiddo, and I'll see how I feel down the road. You know what? Kill that Dark Sniper. Crit that did one extra damage. Yay. God damn priesty. Okay, good. They're coming down. Priest. Still good XP for level 11s. Yeah, the hobgoblins are hitting hard, so, hmm. Julia can kill that. She better. Nice. Attack by three. That's a good level right there. That's probably the best level she'll ever get. I know I'm, be I'm being hyperbolic, but I do consider that a feasible outcome. Strangely enough, I kind of want Knuckles to get the kill there. Or Cynthia, one of the two. Or me, even, for that matter. too close and he's too healthy. Actually, you know what we could do? May as well. He, doesn't, he only gains one XP for that, but that's fine. Gets the medical herb out of his inventory and, and focus more on what we're doing here. I'm almost dead. I'm gonna leave that for Knuckles. Let me see here. He's about to level. 
He's already 11. He's he's 10. So, yeah. It would probably be in our best interest to let them level. Let Knuckles level. Ew. Luckily, this battle's almost over, so... And that Dark Mage is just... Signed a stone death warrant. It's pretty much we're gonna be able to surround him and lay the smack down on him. Ooh, nice crit, Julia. Nice kill, Julia. Oh, didn't expect that. Now, you know, it's not that I don't expect it, it's just not likely to happen. Kiddo up there to work on the Dark Sniper. That gob goblin's in reach of whatever wants to fight him at this point. Ian's level 10. Hmm. So he, he definitely needs to kill something too. Goal is to not have anybody at level 10 going forward. I might have to pull Kiddo back. Well, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> There we go. What a shitty level. Nice job. That'll win that battle. We only just failed to catch Eric, and it's because we hate to see to you first, and now we're disgraced. Ugh, if Lynx hadn't gotten in my way, yeah, next time I'll do whatever it takes. Remember that. Hey, hey, hey. Whatever it takes? What does he mean? Oh, well, anyway, as Sylvia said, we should head to the town of Mound now. Okay, so... Let's see here. I don't think anybody's died. We need to be cured. We'll save. Now, this next battle here, strangely enough, um, we're gonna start getting into, I guess continue our adventure. This is, uh, yes. We want to move the story along a little bit here, because this is going to be a grinding battle area. This is my battle plan, Lynx, and I need your assistance. What do you think you are doing? I wanted a fairly matched battle. If you're going to have such unfair tactics, I can't go along with them. You need to rethink your plans, Magus. Mm, unfair, you say. The only thing that matters in a battle is victory. I bet I can handle this without you anyway. If you don't like the way I'm doing this, then go somewhere else. Are you serious, Magus? Well, if you really mean it, it's not my turn anyway. And we are here at Mound, which is really where I promote people in Shining Force too, pretty much. Well, well, if the, it's the Shining Force, I've heard rumors about you. You're early. We were just about to start preparing your welcome. Isn't the Devil Army here? No, the Devil Army already withdrew because they heard you were coming. They're bound to attack somewhere, don't you think? Please, won't you come into our town? It's a trap! Uh, this is a trap! Get out of there now! You can clearly see that he can fly. <laughs> the fool's actually climbing. It's you. 
Yes, it is I, Magus, Commander of the Devil Army. Take a look around, Ian. Lots of nasties. You're completely surrounded. Prepare to die in the most humiliating way. As he toodles off into oblivion. Um, what you gotta know about this fight is, number one, there's some good leveling around here. Let's take a look. As well as there are goodies to find. Oh, there's at least one chest, yeah. But there's some other goodies too. If I'm not mistaken. And I want to say... Not down here. Let's just snoop around for a minute. Say there is a droppable, but maybe I'm thinking of a different fight. Well, there's definitely the one chest for sure that we're gonna want to get, and we'll leave it as is. So there's definitely the one chest to the north area here that we're gonna want to grab, and what we want to kind of do is move all of our units that way. Um, but this is a fight worth grinding characters to roughly when the enemies in a majority stop giving 30 or so XP. Like I said, our party is pretty beefed up. Um, this battle and the next battle are good grinding battles. Um, if you have the patience to get to level 20 after in the next battle, then you're good to go. Uh, you could also get characters to level 15 and, and that's optional too. We're already level 11 for the most part. The general average level is about 20, so or about uh, 11. Uh, so the fact that we only got a little further to go to get characters to level 20 or even level 15, promoting a 15 is actually the most optimal for the amount of time investment that you're going to put into this game. Um, for the standard time investment, level 20 is, you know, a little, little much. You don't have to go to level 20, um, but I think we might do that. I'm either going to take characters to 15 or to 20, um, because that would be the max level for these underpromoted characters. Um, and ultimately, I think that that will, that will long-term pay off for what we're, we want to do. So this battle, I should aim for about level... 13 to 15. Um, that being, you can notice the knights didn't give, did not give very much at all for even level 11s. So, but everything else should give slightly better XP. And I want to say the priests aren't going to give as much as well. But everybody else should be giving moderately good XP. And I'm going to show some of that growth before we stop. Uh, because, yeah, we're almost out of time. But I figure, because this is a battle we're going to grind, I'm going to have to show... I want to show this whole battle fully once we finish our grinding and all of that. Okay, Ruberin's pretty high level anyway. He's already 12. Put her there. A little close to the mage, though. It's really only useful if she gets the kill. Killing blow. And I believe our next weapon upgrades are going to be not very good. In other words, unless we're promoted, I don't think we can equip them. 
So that's that's the other reason why promotion in the next couple battles is going to be paramount. Because at least before the end of this chapter, be, or by the end of this chapter, going into the next chapter, rather, I, I really need to get that verbiage right. Yeah, going into the next chapter, if we can get characters promoted during the first fight of the next chapter, that would be that would be optimal. Doesn't mean that that's what I'm going to get, but that would be optimal. 49 at level 11 is good. So that's what I'm getting at. There are enemies that are good to level off of in these in these fights going forward. So I pretty much want to just show you what's in that chest. Then we can kind of move along here. And yeah. Because then the regular battle, we don't have to worry about coming up this way, per se. The enemies will come towards us instead. Of us kind of going towards them. Put Sylvia... I guess we'll put Sylvia here. She's, she's She can handle herself for the most part. Same as Meat, just like Meat could, pretty much. And she's been getting a lot of crits and double attacks lately. It's very uncharacteristic of her. Why well, you always keep a spear? Cannot stress that enough. Hmm, ripe for the pickings. Uh, let Cynthia even get to the kill there. <clears throat> well, Knuckles gets to heal him. They still give moderate XP to at level 11, considering the Dark Mage, I think, is one of the oldest enemies in the in the fight here. We'll send Kiddo, I think, up to get that item. The item in the chest. For now. Because Julia needs to fight. So, and I think Kiddo is 12, so... Level 12, so... Not much of a reason to worry so much. Let's, uh... Hold the line there. And they got the quick ring, nice. So anyway, this is a good place for us to stop for right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash actor2ds for more live gaming action. When we come back, we're going to fight this battle fresh, but we're also going to be moderately leveled up. Um, again, I'm not going to commit to saying we're going to be like where we perfectly want to be for levels. But we're definitely going to be a lot higher in level. Like I said, hopefully around level 13 to 15 would be optimal. Um, because by getting characters to that rounded about roundabout leveling, getting them to about that level will be the most optimal for that. If I get a bug up my butt and I want to get them all the way to level, you know, 15 to 16, then I, I'll do that too. I'm not committed to doing that as much though. We'll see. We'll see. It's still pretty early in the, in the let's play. So, and to be fair, we're almost halfway through this game. I know it doesn't, this again, it's a Game Gear game. It's not going to be as long as many of the other games, the Shining games that are that are out there. But uh, it is something to take note of um, as far as how much uh, content there is because Game Gear just was, even compared to the other guiding games, this doesn't have a lot of, a, a lot of, uh, it's not as long, but regardless, we are going to get there for sure. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.